Hello there. Welcome to this week's edition of Beyond the Brokers. We come to the concluding part of this series on commitment. In Daniel chapter 1 verse 8, the Bible says, But Daniel proposed in his heart that he would not defile himself with the portion of the king's delicacies, nor with the wine which he drank. The first principle of developing commitment is commitment always begins from the environment of struggle. In 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 17, he said, For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, is working for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. Commitment always begins from the environment of struggle. Number two, commitment is not based on skills and abilities. There is nothing like, well, if I were to be more skilled, maybe I would be more committed. No, nothing like that. The Bible tells us concerning David when he was in the cave of Adullam. And he said that some people came to him and everyone who was in distress, everyone who was in debt, everyone who was discontented gathered to him. So he became captain over them. And you can see, they didn't possess any particular skills to become mighty men. How? Because David molded commitment to them. David modeled something they had never seen in a leader. God will not ask anyone what he has not first of all modeled to you. Remember in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, 26, he said, For you see your calling, brethren, that not many wise according to the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble were called, but God has chosen the foolish things of this world to put to shame the things that are wise, and God has chosen the weak things of the world to put to shame the things that are mighty. Why? So that no flesh will glory in his presence. So you see, it's not based on your skills or your abilities. You come to him and God models that. It is his word that is upholding you. He first demonstrates the commitment to you. Number three, commitment is not based on conditions but on decisions. Our focus test today, Daniel 1 verse 8, Daniel proposed in his heart. It was a decision. My friend, if you want to live a life of commitment, it takes a decision, not a feeling. Your obedience has to be personal. In 1 Samuel 18 verse 1, the Bible said, Now the soul of Jonathan was knit to the soul of David, and Jonathan loved him as his own. Now watch this. In verse 3, Then Jonathan and David made a covenant. Because he loved him as his own, Jonathan took off the robe that was on him and gave it to David with his own armor even his sword and his bow and his belt. It was not a condition from David to Jonathan. Jonathan decided it. Some people come into marriage and they are putting conditions. Some people come into prenuptial contract. This is unscriptural. So commitment is not based on conditions. I love you irregardless. Lastly, commitment begins with little things, not the great ones. My friend, you cannot stand up to the king's God if you can't stand against the king's delicacies. It was not the day to stand against the God that Daniel started. He started with the little thing, his appetite. You see, the clear lines that you didn't draw yesterday over little decisions, they will become more blood tomorrow over the most important points of your life. You must settle the issue of commitment before it arises. You make up your mind. This is the way I am walking. This is the bone of my bone. This is the fact of my fact. This is my yea. This is my no. I want to pray for you today. That in the name of Jesus, the little things of yesterday will not scatter the great things of tomorrow in your life. The Bible tells us in 2 Songs of Solomon 15, he said, catch up the foxes. The little foxes point the vine. I pray every little foxes in our lives, may they be arrested in the name of Jesus. May the vine of the Lord in our lives not be destroyed. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. May your commitment be unshakable, immovable. May you be abounding in the word of the Lord. I pray that in the name of Jesus, that you will remember that it was God's faithfulness that raised you, that picked you up from nothing. For you were not smart, you were not noble, but God made great things out of your life. May you remain committed to that God who had made greatness out of your little name. In the name of Jesus, for it is be me. While you are not saying, you can rise beyond limits. limits.